Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are checking out a brand new Bendy game called Bendy Secrets of the Machine. Now you may not have heard of this game, I don't think many people have, because it kind of wasn't even advertised in any way. I basically had seen on the Steam Store page yesterday that Joey Drew Studios had a new game advertised, um, if you clicked on their publisher page, it was this game called Bendy Secrets of a Machine, and I went online to see if Meatly had tweeted about it or anything, or Mike had tweeted about it. Nobody involved in Bendy had even mentioned this game. I thought it was maybe a joke, so I did follow the publishing page back to Joey Drew Studios, I made sure it was the correct developer, correct publisher. It's actually being developed by Gent Corporation, which is very meta, so I'm assuming this is a shell company like a... Well, not a shell company, but you know, like a new company the developers have set up to make this game. I'm assuming it's the same developers that make Bendy, like Meatly and everything, but I don't know. But it is legit, it does all like follow back to Joe Drew Studios, and uh, obviously they're trying to basically let this go viral without really advertising it, and it's gonna kind of be a, a low-key type affair. Uh, but yeah, it's a new Bendy game. It's called Bendy Secrets of the Machine. In this video, we're going to analyze all the information we've got so far. going to try and work out what this thing is. There is a short trailer to watch, which we'll watch in a minute, which is roughly a minute in length. And we'll watch that, we'll react to it, then we'll analyze it. And we'll take a look at the different screenshots. We'll take a look at the information that is shared on the Steam store page as well. And yeah, we'll just try and break down what this thing actually is. But it's uh, very exciting to say the least to be getting a new Bendy game. And also, the release date for this game, guys, is April 14th, 2024. Now you guys will know that 414, of course, is a very known number to the Bendy community. Something usually happens on 414 every year, uh, and it's kind of a tradition at this point. And it looks like we're getting a brand new game, or at least an interactive experience, this year to celebrate 414 for Bendy. So, uh, yeah, this game is coming soon, April 14th. We will be checking it out on the channel, of course. Uh, for now, guys, let's watch the trailer and then we'll dive into what the uh, game actually is using the information presented to us on the Steam page. So here we go, here's the trailer, let's check it out. Eerie sounds. You can see we've got like grainy film footage and at the bottom it says property of Gent Corporation. We've got a timer as well, counting up. We've got some glitch effects with numbers. Ink running down the screen, the Gent logo. Strange noises. We've got Bendy there, the Gent logo again. Bendy again. Oh my god. Okay. It sounds like a, a human screaming. We had like a weird frog looking thing there. Oh, we got a house. What's that? I don't know. It had some text on it, I think. We got an old house there, guys. With a chimney. And a Bendy logo on it. And the time has stopped at 414. So that's the trailer, guys. That's all there is currently. Very, very cryptic, that trailer. And we could see a couple of things from that trailer. We could see the Gent logo quite prevalent throughout it. Property of Gent Corporation at the bottom. A timer that stopped at 414, which is the release date of the game. A old house, or perhaps studio, for animation there. Uh, with the Bendy logo on it, and of course a weird scream as we saw this kind of frog-like thing that looked a bit like Sheriff Toadster from Gardener Bamban. Can't lie, that was uh, very reminiscent of uh, of Sheriff Toadster. Very strange. But uh, let's have a look at this game, guys. Let's actually break down what's on the Steam Store page now we've seen the trailer. There's not too much to go by from the trailer as far as I could tell there. Okay, so the Steam Store page, Bendy Secrets of the Machine, underneath the uh, little tile at the top it says, Some things are better left forgotten. So, uh, yeah, this is obviously kind of like a lost media type thing. And it says, about this game, subject 13138945. So, guys, this actually is interesting. If you break down these um, this number code, it will actually read machine. So, it says subject machine. Now, if you remember at the end of Bendy and the Dark Revival, we um, saw the Gent Corporation locking up the ink machine in their van and taking it away. So the Gent Corporation now has ownership of the ink machine, and who knows what they're going to do with it, probably nothing good. But I think the subject being the machine is very key to the story here, because of course we know they took it away at the end of Dark Revival, and that's what teased the uh, 
presumably third game, which is coming at some point. It's not going to be The Cage. The Cage is like a side project that kind of runs in parallel to Dark Revival. So, um, yeah, this may be teasing the next full Bendy game, or it may just be teasing something for The Cage or another project. But it's tied to the, uh, the fact that Gents took away the machine at the end of a previous game, which is interesting. It says no authorized viewing or interaction, danger, unstable. So they're saying the machine is unstable and we shouldn't interact with it. Now the game's summary says, Discover the intractable secrets of the machine by exploring Gent's creation and solving the puzzles within. Lurking amongst the shadows are glimpses to the past, the present and the future of the dark puddles. But stay alert, this realm changes often. What this says to me, knowing what we know about the ink machine, is that Gent has taken ownership of the ink machine, as we previously said, and they've now created this sort of simulation with the ink where they can run tests, essentially, but it's unstable currently. And using this simulation, we can basically go into uh, into the simulation, we can view through the ink events of the past, present and future. So we'll be able to see stuff that happened in Bendy and the Ink Machine, in Boris and the Dark Survival, and in um, Bendy and the Dark Revival. All of those kind of things will be mixed in here, perhaps even like events from the books and stuff. There'll be lots of things that we can discover by solving puzzles within the gents creation, which seems to be this um, house that we saw. I think the house is the simulation. The house with Bendy on it is what they've created within the ink machine. We have to explore it, solve puzzles, and basically take a look at events past, present, and future. Now features for this game, it says explore the drawing room, solve the secrets within, unravel the interactive mystery, and stay close for updates. So with this um, information, we can see that the drawing room is basically what this house is called that we saw in the trailer. There's lots of secrets to solve within and puzzles. This is an interactive mystery rather than a full game. So it's probably going to be something quite limited in terms of gameplay. More of a, like a walking simulator, you know, we walk around this environment. We try and solve cryptic puzzles. Every time we solve a puzzle, we get like a little video file or something or a teaser image to break down. And it's going to be kind of more of a way of delivering teasers for upcoming games, I think. It says stay close for updates. So my breakdown of what this actually is, not an actual like full blown game, but rather an interactive experience for delivering future Bendy news updates. So if we get a new teaser image from now on, perhaps instead of seeing it go up on Steam or like last time Meatly shared one for, with me to share with you guys, uh, instead of doing it like through content creators or through like the Steam page or through their own Twitter channels, perhaps what they'll actually do is say, guys, if you want a new teaser for Bendy the Cage, for example, go into this new game we've created, Bendy Secrets of the Machine, and solve a new puzzle we've put in the game and you'll get like a set of teaser images or you'll get a new video file which will be a teaser trailer for something and that's really interesting you know that's like a cool way to do to do this because it's kind of like something i haven't really seen done before giving people an interactive way to unlock new uh news and updates for upcoming games again i don't know if this is going to be fully tied into the next bendy game or more for like the side projects like the cage but it could be used for both so yeah, very, very cool way of doing this, guys. I'll definitely be checking this out on uh, April 14th and we'll go through it together and see what we can unlock, see what secrets of the machine we can uh, discover there. We quickly will go through the screenshots. There's also a couple of those on the Steam page. So the first uh, screenshot seems to be of um, some kind of like delivery device. It's got an arrow below this kind of cartoon frog character. It seems like we're going to be able to pick stuff up from below it. This could be like a puzzle machine or it could just be a delivery point. But uh, we heard a screaming when we saw this image in the trailer. So I don't know if this is maybe going to give us some kind of really dark secrets to do with uh, pe people being experimented on in the machine or not. Not sure there. Uh, next we have what seems to be a new character. Although I can't really make it out. It's been blurred out and the screenshot is very dark. Even if we brighten it, I can't fully make out what this character is. Almost reminds me of Boris in some ways, but like a kind of twisted version of him. I wonder if like basically this is the kind of thing we're going to see when we solve a puzzle. Maybe we get some ink come from, uh, you know, like a pipe and the ink puddle forms an image that we get to like look into. So we like kind of look into the dark puddles. We see like gameplay footage and teaser images and stuff that way, I'm not sure. We've got this symbol here, it almost reminds me of like a, a Japanese symbol, it might well be. Uh, I don't speak Japanese, I don't speak many languages guys, so I don't know what this is. So I'm not going to jump to a conclusion and say, oh this is definitely a Japanese, you know, lettering or anything like that. But it does 
kind of look a bit like that to me. Um, but if any of you guys recognize this symbol or what it means, just let me know in the comments below. Might have some native language speakers that can uh, break this down. We've also got this shot. This seems to be of the side of a building. Actually reminds me of the uh, pylons that we saw in um, Wilson's Domain, you know, when we went through uh, Bendy and the Dark Revival. The pylons used to keep uh, Demon Bendy out and essentially suppress the inky powers. Looks like one of those things. I don't know if this is perhaps a teaser image tied to the cage because it does look like that. And then the final image is of this doorway, which is kind of ominous. I don't know if this is maybe the entrance to the, uh, the drawing room that we're going to be kind of exploring, but it's all blurred out so we can't really tell. It's just a very normal looking doorway, but it's kind of creepy the way it's framed in this black void like that. But yeah guys, they are the screenshots. We've gone through the game, and as I said, I'm very excited for this. It's really insane that they're kind of basically just dropping a brand new Bendy game this year on 414. Wasn't expecting it, but you know, it's a, uh, a welcome surprise, and definitely we'll be checking it out when it drops. If you're excited for this game, guys, let me know in the comments below. Of course, leave a like on this video, and remember to subscribe and hit those notifications, because as soon as this drops, you'll be able to check out my gameplay, and uh, we'll be able to see what this game actually is. And with that said, guys, I'm going to wrap up this video, so thanks for watching today, and I'll see you all on the next one.